we're building soil from the top down by what we grow. So cover crop, the stuff mm -hmm. you see here, is essential and vital. It's kind of like the most important thing we do is cover the skin of the earth with a protective armor in the form of live plants or, or decaying, decaying, decaying stuff, yeah. right? And that's that's what ha that's what's in, that's how you cycle all these things. I mean, it smells good. Right? Well, it yeah. should smell yeah. good. It's, if it's, it smells it's, it's, if it smells anaerobic, yeah. like a pool that hasn't been cleaned yeah. for whatever months. That's the bad smell. You're inviting anaerobic bacteria mm -hmm. that they are not the ones doing the good things. Yes. We want the aerobic bacteria that survive in a required oxygenated environment. So so. Uh, you, you had this awesome relationship with the topsoil and the plants, but what about little critters that are trying to jump up here and eat the plants? So yeah. there's all kinds of things that come up here and will start to like take bites out of these leaves and eat these things. But there's also predators for these mm -hmm. things. There's a predator for pretty much everything. Mm -hmm. um, and so we have to create an environment where those predators that say eat these pests mm -hmm. would want to live and lay their eggs. Yeah. Because there will be a natural res response that happens to any pest, mm -hmm. but it takes years sometimes, many cycles of seasons for the population of the things that eat them to build up. Mm -hmm. If you don't have a habitat environment where they would lay their eggs, the predators would lay their eggs and be on the ready when the pest, the food for when their babies come. comes. <laughs> right? That so you're awesome. inviting all these things to live together. I don't have a lot of control over the bad things. What I have is an environment where they can kind of work their stuff work out. It out. Yeah. Right. Well, the cool thing about what I think there is a an enormous uh, interest in regenerative farming now, mm -hmm. right? Whether you call it, you know, permaculture, biodynamics, holistic, there's an interest in how we can start to kick this flywheel cycle mm -hmm. off. There's a lot of dispute over water. How much water does it take to grow cover crop mm -hmm. in an environment? I was really scared of that. After a few years, I realized that we use less water than our allotted amount in comparison to our conventional neighbors who use, who grow the same mm -hmm. things without cover crop and use more water. Once you get this stuff going, you now have a rainforest canopy to keep that water in the ground mm -hmm. from evaporating up. But more importantly, you've created porosity in your soil. So when we got 18 inches of rain here last year, it went down. That's 105 yeah. million gallons of water. Uh -huh. did not leave our farm yeah it did not leave our farm and take soil topsoil off mm. Jeez. right it's uh and I mean, you just had to grow a little bit of the grass now it takes more water to get that grass to establish mm -hmm. but what people are finding is that once it's established and you've created this very porous soil mm -hmm. you actually have just created the dam that everybody wants to build down the road yeah you don't need a dam yeah. if you have soil <laughs> that holds water yeah Oh man, I, I'm telling you. Because we have aquifers under the ground that are natural dams yeah, they're, that they're we've depleted yeah. because we don't let water run back into them. It all runs out to the ocean. It's changing. Yeah, and I think people are excited about that. I'm really excited that I, I there's a lot of young people that get it, you know, and Absolutely. it's changing. Absolutely. And so I don't think we're in a dire situation where people aren't getting it. I think it's now it's just time to like start celebrating the ones that are. Yeah, I mean it's a, it's it's completely exciting, and yeah. and for me it's something that you know, it's going to enrich my stories at yeah. the store. That's for sure. Cool. I cannot wait to tell everybody about this.